what is going on you savages welcome to facts that you guys might not know in this episode we're covering the five facts that you guys might not know about the hall of famer kurt angle we're gonna skip the obvious one although they're pretty great as well but nonetheless we're gonna skip the fact that he is a 1996 olympic gold medalist with a broken freaking neck and that he is a former wwe tna and iwgp heavyweight champion oh and did i mention he's a two-time ncaa champion and headline this year's wrestlemania weekend hall of fame nonetheless let's start this off at number five with a pretty big one and that is a pay-per-view streak for kurt angle within just 11 months of his debut to the wwe kurt angle won multiple championships and was also the winner of the king of the ring tournament in 2000 and although his title wins were very impressive in his rookie year following his debut he was on to be featured in 46 of the 47 pay-per-views that were staged between his debut and wrestlemania 19 this would have probably continue if he didn't have to take time off due to a neck injury at number four we have wins over eddie guerrero and Shawn michaels but in real life other than his win at wrestlemania 21 he never scored a single victory over Shawn michaels and at wrestlemania 20 he tasted defeat against eddie guerrero in their wwe championship match but in real life he has beaten both Shawn michaels and eddie guerrero in separate backstage fights in regards to eddie guerrero kurt angle stated that he lost it one night after eddie guerrero has suggested that he was too stiff i'm laughing because i could just imagine eddie guerrero telling him that at number three we have an accomplishment that was unheard of especially before this current era that we are in and that is that although he lost his wwe championship going against brock lesnar at wrestlemania 19 back then kurt angle was the only person that was able to get his shoulder up after an f5 from brock lesnar so he was actually the first one to be able to kick out of an f5 again this is very significant back then considering considering the fact that the FI was an instant victory for Brock Lesnar as he beat guys like The Rock, Undertaker, Big Show and many more just with one single FI. At number 2 we have a very heartbreaking one but one that is certainly demonstrate how great Kurt Angle is and it just shows the character and who he is. On September 18, 2003, Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar had a classic Iron Man match in one of the best matches in SmackDown history. What most people don't know is that Kurt Angle sister passed away of a heroin overdose the night before the match and Kurt Angle knew this before his 60 minute match with Brock Lesnar but because he knew this was a very special match and it was important to the WWE and the feud that was going on he waited until the Smackdown tapings to take night off and at number one as we are in Wrestlemania season we're gonna be talking another one in relationship to Wrestlemania and Kurt Angle and that is that unfortunately Kurt Angle is the only superstar to suffer two title losses in the same night at wrestlemina 16 kurt angle lost the ic title and the european title in his match against chris jericho and chris Benoit, they won in a two out of three false count match where chris jericho won the european title in the first four and chris Benoit won the ic title in the second four leaving angle empty-handed at the end of that wrestlemania making it the only time in history where a single superstar lost both titles in a single night so there you guys have it that is what i have for you guys of uh, five facts that you guys might I know about Kurt Angle. If you guys enjoyed this series, make sure that you guys elbow drop that like button so I can keep it going. And let me know down in the comments below which superstar, which pay per view, or anything else that you guys want me to cover and that you guys are interested in seeing. And I'll cover it in a future episode. But, anyways, you savages, check out the previous episode if you guys haven't yet. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And turn on those notifications to be fully up to date on all things WWE games and WWE news and rumors. We're to 20,000 subscribers. Subscribers, I'm going to see you. Dig it.